What is going on, everyone? We just covered the Blackburn variation, which is e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, the scotch game. e takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop c5, which is the classical variation. Bishop e3, queen f6, c3, knight e7, and queen d2 the Blackburn variation of the classical variation of the Scotch game. There are two different ways to continue in the direction of the Gottschall variation. They transpose, and those moves are d5, knight b5, bishop capture e3, queen capture e3, and then castle kingside. Or it can go castle kingside, Knight b5, bishop capture e3, queen capture e3, and then d5. Same boat, we just covered all these lines in the Blackburn variation. So the line continues, knight capture c7, rook to b8, and then knight capture d5. Knight capture d5, pawn capture d5, and then finally... The move of the hour, the Gottschall variation in the Blackburn variation, in the classical variation, in the Scotch game. Knight to b4. I searched through every database I could possibly find, and Lee Chess is the only one that had games of this variation. There's only one game documented by titled players, and there are six games documented by regular non-titled players. From this position, out of seven matches, three different positions were chosen. So I ran it through five different chess engines to see what the score was so I can give you the best analysis on going forward from here, regardless if it matches up with the choices that these players chose or it differs. I used chess365.coms. I used Lee Chess's Stockfish 11, Stockfish 14.1, the Neuro Network one. I used Chess.com's Stockfish 12 and the Komodo 13.2. The 13.2 Komodo was the only one I couldn't reach a depth 30. I only reached a depth of 27 after 90 full minutes and my browser refreshed. So between those five engines, I'm pretty sure we got it you know, honed in to exactly what should be played from this position regardless of what those seven matches show. All that engine analysis leads to pawn capture knight on b4. The queen will come down and grab the b2 pawn, and it might seem okay, but the queen does not come to c3, preventing the rook from being grabbed, because black would be able to go e8 check, and what are you going to do? You can't block with the bishop, because that would be checkmate. So you got to march with the king. And then the queen will come over and snag the f2 pawn, and it's just not going to end well. You got the bishop ready to come to g4 checking you. No buenos. No mas. So with that being said, you go ahead and develop the bishop to d3. The queen will grab the a8 rook, and you castle. Now black has two different moves. It's got b2, and it's got f6. If the queen goes to f6, you got two choices. You can bring your knight to c3. The bishop will come to f5, and you want to go ahead and trade off. And then bring your rook to e1. That is one way you can go. Or on the flip side of the coin, you can go ahead and take the a7 pawn, and the bishop will come to d7. And there's a hundred varieties that can fork from here. And last but not least, if the queen comes to b2, just like when the queen went to f6, you can grab the a7 pawn and the bishop will come to d7. Or you can bring the knight to c3. No, the queen's not going to grab it because then it would fall. It'll go ahead and grab the b4 pawn and then you can bring the knight to e4. Queen will slip up to b6 and you can either trade off or better yet, just bring the queen to f4. That'll get you to where you have to go. Thanks very much, and I will see you on the next.